Hello. My name's James, and this is my beautiful wife, Kathy. And about three years ago, we started down this path of edible insects. When she first brought me the idea, is because she went to Montana State University's Bug Buffet, which, if you've never had a chance to go to, is exactly what it sounds like. It's every February, open to the public. She comes back to me and says, this is an amazing thing. Everyone's excited. We need to do this. I say, that's a stupid idea. <laughs> there is no way that Americans want to or are ready to eat bugs. There's only two reasons why I've ever known anyone to eat bugs. They go on vacation to Thailand or Vietnam, or they're in the military and they go through SEER school which is a survival school where you just kind of do what you need to to survive. Well, as usual, she was right and I was wrong. <laughs> and so we've been moving along this process. And what I thought was our reason for doing this was incorrect. It wasn't that I wanted a good business. It was something else. You see, this is my family. And a couple years before we found out about this industry, we had another business. It was a family fun center in Michigan. We had go-karts, batting cages, arcades. It was really fun until Detroit went bankrupt, which is where most of our customers came from, and so did we. We lost two houses, the business, the property. Every asset that we owned was gone. And beyond that, many days we weren't able to eat. You see, I couldn't get another job, and we had no way to feed ourselves or our family. If it wasn't for the gifts from our family, from our friends, we would have been on the street. It was really recently that we figured out what our real reasoning behind this business is. It's food insecurity. Because we're still a very, very fortunate family. There are other people around the world that do not have that opportunity. And as our population grows to nine billion people by the year 2050, our current agricultural practices are not going to stand. We need to find new ways to feed our growing population and to solve the issues that we're already seeing. We've been educating thousands of people all over the world about edible insects, specifically crickets. We call them the gateway bug <laughs> because they're not very uh, frightening, let's say, right? No one really jumps around and goes, oh no, it's a cricket. Usually they think a Jiminy Cricket, it's, it's really pretty easy to, to understand. So we start them out with that. What we found is if you give someone a whole cricket, they probably won't eat it. If you give them the powder, which is ground up crickets, they don't really know what to do with it. If you give them a delicious chocolate chirp cookie, suddenly it all makes sense. <laughs> you have to relate to people, and chocolate chip cookies always relate to people. So we need to figure out why is this such an issue in people's minds. Why is this a taboo? Well, as children, we're taught that it's gross, it's disgusting, stay away from the bugs, they're gonna hurt you, they're poisonous. And in most cases, that is absolutely wrong. And to prove this point, 80%. That is the amount of people around the world that are eating insects as a daily part of their diet. See, Western culture is the fringe on this. And if we just change the way that we think about our food, we can change the way that we feed the planet. This is Betsy. Now, I know Betsy is a dairy cow, but she's a lot prettier than if I put a big bull up there, so I'm gonna stick with Betsy. <laughs> and to grow one pound of beef, it's gonna take that entire giant pool, that much water, just to grow one pound of beef. And it's not just water, there's so much more. You see, pound for pound, crickets to beef. Crickets use 2,060 times less water, 14 times less feed, produce 80 times less methane, and use less than 1% of the comparable land mass. Not only that, but there's a nutrition side as well. Again, pound for pound, twice as much protein, twice as much iron, 43 times as much omega-3 fatty acid content. That means we can feed more people, destroy fewer forests, have more room for homes and parks, help solve anemia, which is the number one health concern around the world, and promote good heart and brain health. So that's two reasons. 
One, all the cool kids are doing it, you might as well be eating bugs. <laughs> Two, it's good for you, it's good for the environment. But there's a third one. If you're not quite sold yet, maybe the money will talk to you. You see, in the year 2015, worldwide, the edible insect market was only about $33 million. That's tiny. Most big companies, that's yeah, partial, part of their marketing budget. And that was the whole industry. By the year 2024, that's gonna be over $700 million. It's growing very quickly. But there's a lot more to grow. You see, the US protein market alone is 23.4 billion. So if you don't think you're gonna be eating bugs soon, you're gonna wanna rethink that. There is a lot of money riding on this industry. And there's a lot of good behind it as well. So finally, I would like to present you with a short scenario. As my children grow up, and as yours do, what kind of world do you want? We want one where we can still see this beautiful Montana view out of our backyard. I want a world where our population can grow and thrive. And all we have to do is make one little change. So, I implore you to do something for me. Please, save a cow, eat a cricket. <laughs> Thank you so much. Have a great night.